Welcome back, Electric Family. Uh, this is an overdue video that I had promised to uh, give you guys earlier, um, but you know, the holidays came and all that, so whatever. All right, so hope you guys had a good holiday. So let's get started. Okay, so this is the panel that you're gonna remove first, okay? Um, assuming that your, your battery is already installed because this is what you wanna do, wherever your battery is going, uh, whether it's up here, whether it's here, have it installed first. And if it's a triangle battery just like this, I used zip wide tires and the Velcro that was included and this does not budge, it's solid. You have one here just to keep it from moving side to side. Now, remove your panel. Once you got your panel off, all right, you have this cable here that runs from the battery. Okay, I'm gonna show you guys. See, this is it here. This is an XT90 to an XT90 to an XT60. Now these are connected, both batteries and hub motor. The controller, I mean, are connected. Oh, I gotta get this out. It's not so easy. It was easy putting it in. All right, so take a good look at this. This is the battery blender. So this is the spare battery, triangle battery. So this one here, okay, connects here, runs right through the hole that's already pre-existing for the aerial rider. Okay, it's where the, all the other cables are running through. See that? It goes right through here, runs right in there. This is doing exactly the same thing, going right in through here. And then this is the wire here, and I have it attached to an XT60 so that it can go into my XT60 adapter. And this is the battery blender. Okay, so battery, controller, battery. And there you go, there you have it. And this is real easy to put in. You got plenty of space. That's why I really enjoy this. It was expensive, it was about $150, but this is exactly where it goes. Look at that, not a problem. You see that? Now, of course, I dressed up these wires. They don't come like this. I use the spiral um, cable management. You guys have seen that before. Um, I think I posted a link for that. And this, all I did was just vinyl wrap these just to give it some cohesiveness. I didn't do a great job, but it, it does the job and it looks good. All right, and then once you're done, okay, connect this back, put it back, and you can go writing. Now, you're allowed to, I think, uh, I believe, charge both of them according to the site. I charge both batteries simultaneously, or one at a time. Also, when I ride, I can use both batteries without a problem, without any issues, when they're both running. Okay, that's it, Electric Family. You guys have a good one. Talk to you guys later. Have a great weekend.